live. So today, first of all, again, concourse centers, G for geometry, CO for congruence, and it's number 10 on the list, and it is prove theorems about triangles. All right. So, the main one we're going to talk about is this theorem 424. 424 has to do with the remote interior. So we learned that the sum of the two remote interior will always add up to the exterior. Okay, that's what we learned. These two, remote, because they're away from it, always add up to the exterior. Okay, that's the theorem we're going to hit today more than any of them. So if I take a look at it, first of all, there's a couple of ways to do this, but I actually want to use that formula. I want to say that y plus 68 is equal to 135. I want to do that. So these are my my remote interior, y and 6, because they're away from my exterior. So we're going to go, all right, y plus 68 equals 135. I'm actually going to use that formula, and then I'm just going to solve it. So I'm going to go ahead, minus 68, minus 68, Equal y equals 67. Okay, Katie's way ahead of me. I like that. So y equals 67 degrees. Okay. So if this is 67 degrees, then there's two ways to get x. Two ways, right? We can go this angle plus say this angle plus this angle equals 180. That's one way to do it, right? We can go b plus a plus c equals 180. Or the way I'm probably going to do it, which looks easier, I just know every straight line makes 180, right? That seems like the easiest way to do it. So to find x, I'm just going to say that um, x plus 135 equals 180, right? Um, minus 135. 135. Come on, stop being so slop sloppy. x is 45. Thanks, Katie. Easy? Thumbs up? Yeah, good. Okay, example two. All right, now in this case, I don't know anything about x, so I can't really use my remote interior, but I do know that I'm going to go straight to the fact that I have a straight line here, right? Okay, see my straight line? So let's set them. Let's add them. Let's add this angle and this angle, the two adjacent angles, and set them equal to 180. So I'm going to go ahead and go 5x plus 17 plus 126 equals 180, okay? Because I know the two angles must add up to 180, so just set them equal to 180, okay? My 5x plus 17 plus my 126 half to equal 180 because it's a straight line, okay? Oh, let's see, 126 plus 17, I'll do that first. So I'll have a 5x plus 143 equals 180, okay? Solve, I'll go 100 minus 143, minus 143, see what's 180, minus 43, 137, am I going too fast? Uh, no, it's just it should 37. be 37. Oh my goodness gracious, what did I hit, our, oh yeah, 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 I hit my calculator wrong, 37, thanks you guys. All right, and then 5, 37 divided by 5, yeah, so x is 7.4, but that's not my answer, right? That's not my answer. 7.4 is x. <coughs> let's find out what the angles are. So let's plug it back in. So let's put 7.4 right there. So let's see. What is? 5 times 7.4 is 37. Oh, you're way ahead of me. Plus 17. So I get 54 for this angle. Because so I plugged it in. I went 5 times 7.4 plus 17. Let's plug it in right here. Okay, so let's go 6 times 7.4 minus 1. I get 43.4 degrees. And then finally, to get x, I've got a couple of ways to do it. Probably the most obvious just to add them up and subtract from 180. Does that make sense? So I do know that angle x, so if I go x plus 43.4 plus 54 
adds up to 180 degrees, right? Because all three of them, I've got my 54 plus my 43.4 plus angle x, have to add up to 180 degrees. So let's just solve for x, okay? So let's add that to 54, 97. So if I add these two, if I add these two, hey, we're here. I get x plus 97.4 equals 180, right? If I subtract my 97.4, Let's see, 180 minus my 97.4, I get an answer of 82.6 degrees, okay? All right? Not too bad. So it really comes down to 180 degrees in a triangle, 180 degrees in a straight line, okay? All right. Example three. Well, let's see. I know that's 90 there, right? You guys agree? Um, I know that angle R and angle Q together have to equal this exterior angle. I know that angle R plus angle Q together they have to add up to this exterior angle because that's my, my theorem, right? My exterior angle theorem. So let's go ahead and set it up. I'm going to go 90 plus 2x plus 1 has to equal my 6x minus 9, okay? So I had to recognize that little box meant 90 degrees. Pretty obvious. <coughs> so let's solve for x. Go 91 plus 2x equals 6x minus 9. How am I doing? Okay, minus 2x minus 2x. The 91 equals a 4x minus 9 plus 9 plus 9. Let's see what that's. 100 equals 4x, right? Divide by 4, divide by 4. I've got 25 equals x. But that's not the answer, right? Got to plug it in. So if 25 is the answer, let's plug it into right there. Well, 2 times 25 is 50 plus 1. This angle is 51 degrees, right? And 51 plus 90 has to equal this angle. I could plug it in. I could plug it in. I could put 25 in here. But I do know 51 plus 90 has to add up that angle. So I'm just going to do it that way. It's easier for me. 51 plus 90. Okay, what's that? 141. And I know these two have to add up to 90, right? So if that's 51, that's got to be 39. Got them all. Okay, does that make sense? Thumbs up, sideways, how am I doing? Okay, a lot of thumbs up. Okay, good. Okay, ready to turn the page? Let's turn the page. All right. So, let's see. I'm going to mark it because I've got a little extra information. I like to mark things. So here's what I know. A is congruent to D. So A is congruent to D. I'm going to do that, okay? So if A is congruent to D, isn't B congruent to E? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's got to be true. B is equal. So if those two angles are equal, I think we're going to use this thing about the third angle. Remember the third angle formula? If two of them are equal, then the third one is equal also. Nate, put that phone away, please. So then I can just say go straight to X squared has to equal a 3X squared minus 7, 2. Yeah, thanks, Kurt. So if A is equal to D, B is equal to C, so two of the angles are equal, makes the third one equal. So right off the bat, I know that the third angle must be equal. So I'm going to go, all right, X squared is equal to a 3X squared minus 72. Ooh, how am I going to solve for an X squared? What am I going to do? I will. First, though, let me go minus 3X squared. i got to solve for X. I may as well just try and solve for X squared first. So what I want to do is I've got x squareds on both sides, right? Let's get rid of one of the x squareds. We've got just a plain old negative 2x squared equals negative 72. I had too many x squareds, so I got rid of a 3x squared. It was minus 3x squared, minus 3x squared. So 1 minus 3x squared is a negative 2x squared. Okay, now I heard um, Eduardo say let's divide. Okay, I agree. Divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2. Got x squared equals 36. 
Well, x squared. So what squared? What number squared equals 36? Everybody agree it's 6? And of course, mathematically, we just take the square root of that, square root of that, and we end up with x equals 6. Okay, and if x is 6, then that's not the answer, is it? That's easy. Let's take my 6 and plug it up there. So this angle is 36 degrees. And Katie's going to say, Mr. Davis, you don't need to plug it in, right? Right? And I, I did that yesterday, didn't I, right? So Katie's going to say, oh, Mr. Davies are equal. Don't even bother. That's also got to be 36 degrees, right? Yes. I mean, I could plug it in, and guess what I would get? 36. Sure I would. Heck yeah. Okay, so homework for today, you guys. Page 227. We're going to do 3 to 23 odd. 52 to 56 even. Draw the picture. Show the work. It's on film. Draw the picture. Show the work. All right? Otherwise, you will not get credit. All right? Awesome.